Jim, can you start by telling us how many orders Pratt & Whitney has received to date for the Pure Power Family of Engines? Sure. Before we entered the Paris Air Show, we had over 3,500 engines uh, ordered. We're almost close to 4,000 engines right now with the advent of the Embraer uh, and a couple other airlines that have ordered the uh, Pure Power engine. Last month, Pratt & Whitney completed the first Pure Power test flight using the PW1100G JM engine for the A320neo aircraft. Can you summarize the performance of the engine during the flight? Yeah, We've done, it's done very well. This will be our third flight test program because we flight tested the CSC series, we flight tested the MRJ engine, and now we began flight testing the PW1100G-JM and uh, the results have been very, very positive. We did do ground testing before, so now we know the relationship between sea level and altitude. And we're very pleased with the results that we see to date. We've completed six flights, and we'll probably do another four or five before we take the engine off. Pratt & Whitney has decided to remove the variable area fan nozzle from the nacelle on the A320neo. What will be accomplished by this alteration? Yeah, this will be, um, we started the test program with the variable area fan nozzle on all of our engines with the exception of the MRJ because it's not required. We removed the van off the C-Series engine about six months ago because the fan performance was better than we had expected. So now that we've got enough test data on the A320 engines, we're doing the same thing, taking the van off of that engine. The fan performance has been above our expectations, and I think a lot of the airlines, and in general, everyone would have a, like to have a less complicated reversal system. In addition to the A320neo, Pure Power engines will also feature on the C-Series, MRJ, MC21, and now the second generation of E-Jets. Some people would say that five new platforms is over-ambitious and potentially problematic. What would you say to that? What I'd say to that is we're proud to be on five platforms. You couldn't ask for anything better with the gear turbofan. The acceptance by the industry has just been outstanding. We've been outselling it for a lot of years, and it's really borne fruit now. I don't think it's over ambitious because the timing of the programs are well scheduled. So we have C-Series that's going to be flight testing very shortly, then we'll be into the A320neo program, MRJ, and then Embraer. So I think it flows very well in timing, so that's why we're really not too concerned about it. Okay, finally, now that the um, first Pure Power flight has taken place, what developments can we expect to see over the next few months? Over the next few months, we will continue now flying the engine. We will continue testing the engine. So what we do is we have a series of engines, four engines, which will be a block one, which is our first put at the configuration of the engine. Then we will move into what we call the certification configuration with four more engines. So by the time we get done, we would have tested eight engines before we get into certification. Jim, thank you very much indeed.